Hello and welcome to our next art lesson. This one is called the stormy rainy day. So these are the following materials you're going to need in order to complete this lesson. You need to grab your watercolors. We've used them once or twice before. We're going to be using them again today. You need to have uh, uh, your paintbrush from your watercolors or the paintbrush that was given out at the beginning of the school year or if you even have a bigger paintbrush from home that will do well for this particular lesson. You are also going to need your um, cup of water, just a tiny, tiny bit of water in there, a paper towel for dabbing off in between colors, and then you received in your art material packet, this is what is left for your materials. You have a large piece of construction paper, and then you have some black construction paper and some yellow construction paper, several pieces of both. You need to take the black and the yellow and that paper clip, and you need to paper clip those back together and put them off to the side. I have mine and Sarah's together right here, so I'm gonna put ours off to the side, and all you need today is the large white piece of construction paper, just like this. All right, Sarah, did you want to um, go over what we want to keep in mind in order to have a positive art experience? Yeah, um, so, Number one, always try your best. Number two, if you get frustrated, take a deep breath. Count to ten, take a deep breath and try again. Number three, everyone's art will turn out differently. Your artwork is uniquely yours. Number four, art is not perfect. And I end up the world always has to add because if you're not, then wait a little. And then you'll, and then wait for like five minutes and then come back and Awesome, thank you, Sarah. All right, we are gonna get started. I am going to show you some pieces of artwork that have been done in the past of what we are going to do today. That's Joey's. This one's Joey's. This, this is called a stormy, rainy day. And so, he did it in cursive. He did, he wrote his name in cursive. Sarah, does that look like a stormy, rainy day to you? Yeah. Yeah. Is um, this the ways or? I think that was a rock, actually. He, he had that uh, be a rock and a tree and the leaves blowing in the wind and a oh, lightning thunder. bolts and a moon up in the sky. So um, but aren't sometimes... You, aren't aren't moon, moons like white? It's a, sometimes they could have a yellow cast to them. And sometimes moons are out during the daytime. Sometimes they're out during the, the at, at night. Depends on the cycle of the moon. Wait, do we have to do like a rock or no? No, 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 no. Not at all. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, this one is Sammy's. He has a dark rain cloud. He has rain coming down from the clouds. He has some lightning bolts. He has, that could either be a moon or the sun. I'm not sure. Um, they, he has full a tree. Moon. It could be a full moon. He has a tree blowing in the wind. It's, art, it's bending over. That looks like a rock and he has a ground there. And then this one is um, an unfinished one. This was mine that um, I started and haven't finished. What, which grade? Um, I think I started it with Joey's class. I added a little bit with Sammy's class and um, haven't finished it yet. Are you going to add some of our I can, class? yeah, I can. And then with that? And yeah, I can. I can definitely do that. Okay, so Sarah, what do you see about the sky when you look at this one? It's a watercolor. It is definitely, it's watercolor. And what do you notice about the it's colors? It's dark colors, like, um, like outside and some, some. Like it's dark colors. Color. Why yeah. do you think we chose darker colors? Um, because it's night and yeah. You think it's because it's the night? Yeah. Well, this and one is called a stormy rainy day. Oh. So why do you think we picked dark colors for a because stormy Because when it rains, day? then it starts get the the clouds start getting all um, gray because they're ready to come out, and then. The sky starts getting darker and darker. It does. It usually does. Okay. So do you notice how Joey here has several colors mixed together? He, you see a little bit of black and gray, some purple, some blue. Do you, and you see how it's all mixed together? Do you see that? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I have a sticker that Sarah gave me. I'll keep it on though. Okay, how about mine? Here's my sticker. <laughs> how about it's smelly. How, how about mine? I have some purples. Some I like blues. the purple. I might do a purple. I have some black and gray here. I know there's a lot of gray. Okay, let's look at Sam's. Sam decided on... Oh, he, blue and then purple and then I think that's orange or yellow. Yeah, he did a little bit of yellow, blue, and purple. Okay, so we are going to experiment 
with a technique. Oh, it's a watercolor technique. It's called wet on wet. And so what that is, is when you um, add a lot of water all over your white paper, so this is Sarah's white paper, we're gonna get this all soaking wet with water. And then we're going to really, really pick up, we're gonna choose three different colors. Everyone's gonna choose three colors. You're gonna pick up one color at a time and you're gonna go all over your wet paper. I'm definitely gonna do purple. And then you're gonna pick up the second color and go all over and the third color. And you can even, after you've put the water color on, you can even move your paper back and forth and let it run together. Okay? It's just making a big mess and grab wipes. Yes, you might need some wipe you might need wipes in order to avoid a big mess. So if you need to go get, grab some wipes, I like to put down a, um, a scratch paper before I start. So here's my scratch paper to cut to protect my work area. You've had Sarah, that for so many hours. I, I have had this piece of scratch paper for all of the art lessons this year for all four of you guys. Okay, so Oh, oh yeah, Sarah wants to show you her workstation. So here is Sarah, she's all ready to go. Hey Sarah, how are you? Good. Okay, awesome. There's a funny glare with that, with the with the lighting shining down on me, sorry about that. Okay, so I want you to grab as big as a paintbrush that you can manage from your house. It could be um, the paintbrush that was handed out at school. It could be the paintbrush that was in your watercolor set. If you have a bigger one, this will make the job a little bit faster and easier. That. We do recommend and that. And pour a little bit of water because if it spills, it won't make too much. Yes, we only need a little bit of water. Um, as we're doing this, if you feel like you need more water, you can go back to your sink and fill it up, okay? So we are going to do a watercolor wash. Like I said, it's called a wet on wet. And what we're first gonna do is we're gonna first get the paper nice and wet. So take your water, uh, uh, take over. your brush all over, yep. But here's the trick. You don't want to do lightly. lightly. You don't want to do too much. If you do too much and you get your paper so soaking wet, you sometimes you can't see it. You could um, get it so wet that it would tear easily. We don't want to do that. Okay. I can't even see mine that much. Keep going. Get the water all over. We're not adding any color yet. We're just getting our paper really nice and. Wait, wet. are we gonna have two um, videos? We are. This is video one because we have to let it dry, and then video two like we're gonna, day. yeah, like a day. That you only two. need a day to dry, and then video two we're gonna be cutting out our black and yellow construction paper to make our um, stormy rainy day scene. Okay, so I've got my paper nice and wet. So I wet the paper. And then I'm going to open up my paint, and I'm going to pick one color to start with. Is that good? Can I show mine? Yep, that's oh, great. Oh, I can, you know, you can do a little bit more. Do a little bit more water on the, all over the edge. Try not to bend it, right? Yeah, it just, could bend really yeah well. your paper is a little bit more fragile now that it's all wet. Now you're going to get some water. Mommy, I got some color because over here is color. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, you're going to pick a color. So I'm going to pick this dark blue right here. So you're gonna get it nice and wet. Oh, dark, I might do that. And then you're gonna be using your paintbrush to make big strokes and paint on the first color. Wait, do we get water? Oh. A lot of water. No, right here? Yes, absolutely. Oh. Get it out of your water, your cup, and just start going all over your first color. Ooh. Okay, all over. And if you want, you can move your paper around. You, um, I'll show you that once I have a little bit more onto my paper. Now we just have regular, this year we're doing regular construction paper. Wait, why? Um, um, there, there is special watercolor paper. That just was not something that was doable this year. Um, because why, COVID? No, because the reason why it wasn't really doable this year was because it's really hard to tell the difference um, immediately when you're looking at it. And I gave out other white paper and I didn't want it to get used on the wrong lesson. So I just gave the same construction paper out for the whole this, yeah, this so month dark. for both lessons. Yeah, keep going, Sarah. Why do we add water? It's called watercolor. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I'm going to pick, I'm going to go ahead. I might come back to my blue. I'm doing purple. So we're going to pick a second color. Sarah says she's going to pick purple. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of black. Oh. Okay. And depending I'm on if done. I want it to be black or gray, depends on how much water I put in. The more water I put into my palette it's of black. color, the lighter gray it's gonna get. Oh. The less water I put into my color of black, the more black it will be. So if you want it to be a lighter gray, add more water. If you want it to get darker, like that that I just did, I used very little water. So we're just kind of going all over. Now it's easier. Is that good, Mom? Is my that's blue? beautiful. Pick, okay, so now pick a do second off, color. Like, um, yes, go ahead and rinse and um, get the color and off of your brush before uh, you dip it into your oh, next color. Should I go that one or that one? You choose. This is your choice. This is your creation. Now, like I was saying, watercolor paper works a little bit better doing this, but you can. Look at that. I'm going to pick up my paper and I'm going to tilt it to the side. Do you see my water and my colors mixing together? And I decided to do like this kind of. That's beautiful. We can know that one off because I feel like this is more like a sky. All right. So. And I might only do like a, a little bit of this. And I might come back and I might decide to add a little bit more blue. And you can also blend it in. You can blend it together. And like I was saying, Sarah, you can even go like this with your paper. Look at it. That's oh. beautiful. You can blend it together by And you can leave like some this. white, right? Because... No, we're going to get it all, oh. all colored. We are not going to leave any white. Our goal wow. is to go have it completely colored. Okay, and now I'm going to go for oh. is my... That yeah, totally. Okay. Good. So Sarah says, "Is this washable?" Yes. I just got your it. paint uh, that was handed out by by the school. Your watercolor is washable. Now I'm going to add a third color. Sarah, Sarah did blue and purple, so I'm going to show you Sarah's right I here. Got it right there. Mm -hmm, that's all right. So she's doing her blue. Gosh, the, the there we go. She's doing blue and purple. Sarah, what do you think your third color is going to be? Um, maybe. Uh, maybe. Black or, um, yeah, maybe black and turn it to gray. Okay, black and turn it to gray. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, purple. Oh, we do we need to do We both did blue and then I did purple and then you did black and then I'm doing black and then you're doing purple. Yeah, we're going to the same colors but different order, huh? Okay, I almost ran out of water. Oh, you may go fill up your water if you'd like. Because okay. we definitely are using a ton of water. Um, okay, so I'm going to get my purple all over. And then what you can do going forward for the rest of this video is you can switch between the three colors that you chose and just kind of go back and forth between oh, those three colors. Three? We're only going to do three. And then what oh. you're going to do is get every little piece of your paper totally painted. I don't want to see any white paper. What if there's just a... No, you can grab, you can fix it, you can catch it, I should say. If you what have if it. it's supposed to be? Nope, nope, nope. This, this one, this lesson, no white showing. Okay, so I'm going all over mine. I'm doing purple. Like I said, I might go back to adding a little bit of blue, black. a little bit of black. I got all the way over here. I'm coming over here. And guys, um, I mostly did more um, blue than purple because purple is just, um, I just decided to do a little bit of purple because I don't really see purple in the sky. So like, I just decided to blend it a little. So paint can be dropped, it can be splattered. Uh, there's so many different ways you can put paint on a canvas or on a um, oh, on a piece of construction okay. paper. It's, a little bit. it's okay. And, uh, Sarah's noticing her paper is bending a little. Are you going to be able to? I can flatten it, yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. But I will tell you that's why the watercolor paper works a little bit better. So paint can be dropped. It can be splattered on, um, on the wet paper to create all different kinds of special effects on the way that you want the okay, mood of black. your sky to look. Wait, so... If I do less water, it turns gray? Less water, it turns more black. Oh. More water turns it uh, lighter into a gray. Okay, I'm going to go back to my blue. I'm going to add a little bit more oh, blue coming right. out. I'm 
I'm just gonna go until I'm like, you know what, I think I'm good. That's what everybody should be doing right now. Just do it until you're satisfied with the way that your sky looks, your background sky for your stormy, rainy day. Because when we come back for video number two, this totally needs to be dried. And then we're gonna be using our black and yellow construction paper and we're gonna be creating a scene of a stormy, windy day stormy, rainy, oh, like windy that. day. And that's how we're going to wrap up this lesson. So if you run out, then you can put the other color, right? If like, if I run out of black. Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. You well, know what? That's I a good point. I have so many black. So if black. you, if you are working with a color and you're at the end of it and you're running out and you're like, well, you know what? Maybe I need to add a fourth color. We're just going to be flexible with that. You can totally do that. Okay. I am all done with how I want my um, watercolor to, to go. Like I said, you can go like this and run your colors together if you used a lot of water. Again, don't use too much water. You don't want to compromise your paper and tear it. You want it to be wet, but not too wet. There is definitely a point where it gets too wet and the paper can rip. So make sure you're not doing that. You're avoiding that, okay? Um, Let's see if there's anything else. And I don't think there's anything else for this video. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to put this paper in a safe place to dry and then come back for video number two and we will finish it up by creating- Like on the windowsill, because most sun comes through that. Yeah, you could put it in a windowsill. You just can't close the blinds. <laughs> right, so we're gonna come back and we're gonna use the, the black and the yellow construction paper and we're gonna use some simple cutting techniques. Oh, you can ask your mom and dad to check. Or to make sure it's yeah. dry? You know, to make sure that you didn't miss anything. Oh, yeah. You can say, Mom, Dad, did I get everything? Or is there any white showing on my canvas? Yeah, if there your is, mom and Dad have more experience. So. Yeah, then maybe you didn't see it with your eyes. I'm done. So here is this one. one. Well, here, leave it there. Leave it there, and I'll pick up my oh thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she looks there. I see white right here and white up here. Ooh, and I, I see white it, down there. I just want to fill it with black. Okay, so I'm going to show you where Sarah left off. Here's mine. This Sarah's still working. She's got a couple little white areas that she's going to... Man, oh man, that glare of that light is hey, let me turn it too off. much. There it is. There it is. I got it. Okay, so Sarah's going to finish up. She's going to go around and get all the little white edges. And then we'll see you back here for video number Wait, two. Mom, is my done? Um, just about, yeah. You got a little bit of white show in there. Good, good. Okay. Are we done? It looks beautiful. I'm done, guys. All right, leave it there. We don't want it to rip. All right. We will see you for video number two. Make sure you bring your dried watercolor back. And what you need Dry. to bring is you need to also bring back your um, black construction paper and yellow construction paper. We will see you for video number two. Make sure you rinse out. Hang on one second. Make sure you rinse out your watercolors. Make sure you clean up your water bowl, wa water cup. Your um, workstation is completely cleaned up. And you leave everything nice and neat so that the adults in your house are not cleaning up after you. We will see you for video number two next time. You wanna say goodbye, Sarah? Bye. Bye, we'll see you for video number two. Make sure to dry it. <laughs>